There's no single cause of depression. Depression results from a combination of genetic, biological, psychological, personal history, and situational risk factors. As a person experiences more risk factors, the likelihood of depression increases. I had some bad experiences when I was deployed and they still haunt me. I struggle with depression. Having me write it down, the thought record in the depression workbook, is showing me that I am prone to these negative thought patterns. We've come to know that behavior change precedes feeling change. And what that means is sometimes you have to do things even if you don't feel like it. For example, we know that regular exercise can be as effective at improving your mood as medication therapy like antidepressants. So if you're depressed, don't wait to feel better. Start exercising now and then you'll feel better. Don't wait to fill out the thought record until you feel better. Do it now. Do it anyway, even if you don't feel like it. Because like exercise, it's doing it that will make you feel better. I feel guilty about what happened over there and have avoided everything that's reminded me of it. But I'm learning how to deal with it. Using the trap form from the workbook has actually taught me that avoidance, like sleeping too much or staying away from people, has actually held me back. An injury to the brain is also a risk factor for depression. If you've received a traumatic brain injury during deployment, it doesn't mean that you'll suffer from depression, but it does increase the risk. My depression started after my head injury and from the pain from my wounds. I'm using this thing in the workbook called the track form to help me understand and accept these things. I'm learning ways to cope. Certain biological factors can increase the risk for depression. One involves an imbalance in the brain chemicals that regulate emotions and reactions to stress. Antidepressant medications are used to restore balance. Another biological risk factor for depression is a malfunction in the body's stress response system. When faced with this stressful event, the brain triggers the body to release the stress hormone cortisol into the bloodstream. When you're under constant stress, an excess of cortisol can cause a chemical imbalance in the brain. Yeah, I had some bad deployment experiences. But now I realize I was actually at risk for depression due to all the chronic stress throughout my entire life. And I never managed it very well. The workbook helped me to address all the stress in my life. And once I started exercising, and trying the relaxation technique, it really made a difference. One of the most serious risk factors for depression is negative or distorted thinking patterns. How you think about what is going on in your life affects your mood and your behaviors. Negative thoughts about yourself, the world around you, and the future are so toxic that they are referred to as the depressive triad. I thought I was a total loser and I thought that nothing around me was going right and that things were never going to get better. This pattern of negative thoughts leads to the downward spiral of depression. Negative thoughts such as I can't do anything right often bring on depressed feelings which in turn can cause people to behave in ways that might make them feel even worse. This leads to greater depression which in turn leads to more negative thoughts such as things will never get better resulting in doing even more negative thoughts and behaviors. Man, it's a vicious cycle. It's like a plane going down in a tailspin. If you don't know how to handle it just right, then all that negative energy that you're feeding the depression just makes it stronger. It wasn't until I was able to control my thought patterns that I was able to get out of that spin. The thought record from the workbook helped me to do that. The good news is that, just as negative thinking can lead to depression, correcting one's thinking patterns can relieve symptoms of depression. The depression workbook helps you identify negative thought patterns and learn effective ways to correct them. Negative events that occur early in life can increase the risk of depression later on. 
I grew up in a large family in a dangerous neighborhood. Then mom died. I was the oldest, so, you know, I pretty much took care of everyone. It was always stressful. Yeah, I was depressed. If you have a number of factors coming together at once, such as a bad deployment experience, a breakup or divorce, or a serious accident or injury, you're more likely to trigger depression. The workbook showed me how different things in my life set me up for depression. At first, I was skeptical about using the depression monitoring form. But Nicole insisted I do it, and I'm thankful for that. I got better at expressing my negative thoughts and behaviors and learn how to replace them with positive ones.